In this video, we'll be completing a Lewis dot structure for carbon dioxide. Step number one, calculate the total number of valence electrons. Carbon has four, oxygen has six, and we have two oxygens. So that's a total of 16 electrons. Step number two, identify central atom and arrange terminal atoms. Carbon is always a central atom. Step number three, use a pair of electrons to form a bond between each atom. We have 16 electrons. Let's use a pair for single bonds. There's two, four. That means we have 12 electrons left to distribute. Step number four says, distribute remaining lone pairs to terminal atoms first, then to central atom. We have 12 left, here we go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. Step number five. If central atom's octet is incomplete, move a lone pair to create a double bond. And you can see that this carbon has two, four electrons. It does not have eight, so its octet is incomplete. So take a lone pair and move it down to make a double bond. So now we'll have something that looks like this. Now you probably noticed that carbon's octet is still incomplete. Carbon only has two, four, six electrons around it. So what we need to do is take another lone pair and move it down. So now it looks something like this. Step number six, check to make sure each atom has an octet and it does. So this would be an appropriate Lewis dot structure for carbon dioxide. There's also another possibility. This is where we left off before with this situation. We took this lone pair and moved it over here to make a triple bond. So we could make a triple bond over here or what we could do is take this lone pair and move it down here. This would make a double bond on the left and a double bond on the right. And if you look at step number six, check your work, you'll see that every atom here has eight electrons around it as well. So these two here are both appropriate Lewis dot structures for carbon dioxide. In fact, any time you can draw more than one correct Lewis dot structure, they're called resonance structures. So these two are called resonance structures.